heard you guys i was working on the military right and this video is that video and trust me it is not the same it is nothing less than i expected but a lot more than i expected i will explain later in the video first i would like us to get to know a little about the military in ghana the history of ghana's army is as old as the history of the country ghana Army is constantly training. If you have an army that is not training, and then you don't call it an army. The Ghana Army, an important part of the security architecture of the country, has over the last 60 years maintained its purpose to protect and advance Ghana's territorial sovereignty and constitution. A well-trained and equipped army is the pride of a nation. It gives hope confidence and create a sense of safety and security among the citizens so let's see all is well and the ghana armed forces have been given all the finances it needs what will be on their shopping list people when everything is okay and the Ghana Armed Forces have been given all the needed finances, they will definitely recruit larger numbers of people to join. So, first is, this is not Ghana versus Nigeria content. Please, I just want to put this out there. This is strictly about Ghana. I know I'm a Nigerian reacting to the military training in Ghana, all right? So, but it has nothing to do with me comparing. I'm not comparing because I know little to nothing about the military in the both countries. I'm only getting to know about Ghana right now. Number two is that whatever you see here is something that they personally want to be out there for people to see those that want to see and with all of that being said let's go and see their recruitment exercise you will know that they don't do their things like we think now let's go and see what i mean and i'll be back in May this year, the Daily Graphic published an announcement from the Ghana Armed Forces of the commencement of a recruitment exercise. From as early as 4 a.m., some young Ghanaians from across the country besieged the Elwak Stadium and joined a queue which went as far as the cantonment post office. Those gathered at the venue were expected to submit their credentials for documentation and medical screening. Those who made it inside the stadium were seen sitting on the ground in groups as they waited to go through the process. I came around 4.30 a.m. I wasn't even expecting I came early by not knowing I was even late. Some people, when we came, we heard that some people even came here around 3 a.m. and that all for that. Some parents who accompanied their children said they are hopeful their children will be among the few who will be recruited. Yes, sorry, but 3.30. No, have you ever been invited for a job interview, for instance, and, and you're, you are told to sit on the floor? It's not regular. <laughs> I've done a couple of videos here about the recruitment exercises of other body of the security service in Ghana. But they were all standing, sitting or something. The military owner is different. You sit right on the floor. And for them to ask you to do that, it simply means that, see, Charlie, here, you have a choice to go home or stay because what is in there is not the regular. I think this is, this is the best way they could possibly describe what you are getting yourself into so if you continue to be okay under the sun it simply means you're ready for this they know they pamper you now let's go check them out inside and see ah, so now welcome to the reality of becoming a Ghanaian military personnel <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. 
press up press up room two ready for inspection may i have your permission to stand there matthias so sir room stand at east you yourself go to matthias that will be on the bed get your boss here Hey, give me. I told you one time in front here, the one inside. This not be easy at all and that is what sujas do like <clears throat> no matter how soft you are if you walk into these trainings into the training camp into the military training camp you are never going to be the same again you will become hard discipline is what makes people become hard like hard all thanks to god they are hard for the positive reasons for their heart charlie their heart let's go and see more hard moments of becoming a ghanaian military personnel elite soldiers tasked with the most dangerous and demanding missions the ghanaian military over the years has also flexed its muscles by taking part in some daring foreign missions did you know ghanaian troops were part of the united nations operation in the congo in the early 1960s ghanaian troops also carried out operations during the rwandan genocide their personnel were able to show a high level of professionalism during this period now both sides must be carried out before firing so this is the purpose. We are testing the alignment of the site for parallelism with the ball of the launcher. If you can remember when we were doing theory of arms, huh? for M16 stage one, you are doing what? Preliminary grouping and zeroing. I said I want the first time people to bypass me here. I don't know have you ever seen someone go through something and you're not the one going through it but you could feel it they collect like as in they collect they collect that's it like looking at these videos I was like okay all right right now let's go back to more dangerous trainings this job is already hard right from the from the day you make up your mind to become a soldier you don't they hard now more trainings let's go and see how they do it you are giving a signal to space out, but you are not happy. You only send a signal around, but you are not happy. Yes. Look around you. Before you Are you ready? Before you Please move. Are you ready? Because you don't point muscle down and pass behind your colleague. Correct. Okay.
glad that we all love and respect soldiers already so we don't need to preach soldiers don't have issues when it comes to love you know everybody loves and respects and admire them basically you just see them you love you respect whether you don't love or whatever you just respect now all of these guys that are on that training if they should go home definitely you will notice some changes in their behavior it is certain you're going to notice some changes in their behavior you will notice something new about them i went back to get something so i wanted to check out their music and guys you know what it was hard the music is hard strong let's go and listen to it <laughs> There is never a dull moment in the life of a Ghanaian and Charlie, our soldiers, they carry and go abroad to go colonize their colleagues. Check out this. <laughs> This man played very well yesterday. Yes, 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 Their colleagues had no choice but to even learn how to speak whatever dialect that is if it's tree ewe or ga or any of the other languages in ghana but the guys were enjoying the music it is just so incredible to get to see the process that prepares the people that saves a nation every nation i mean these guys are Task with huge responsibilities. Their lives are always at risk just because they have other people to protect. So guys, what about the uh, parade? It is also different. It is hot. <laughs> See how
how they knock the drum mm. you see how they knock the drum they hit it they are like everything is <laughs> okay now everybody loves soldiers okay i know a lot of people love soldiers we love their uniforms we love the job we love how fit they look will you be joining because for me at this point i'm not sure again i humbly back out of this okay I'm, I'm not doing okay i'm not i'm not like these exercises are not easy for me i'm already too old thank god thank god i'm even old there's no need for me to dream of it so you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video and when you see a soldier tomorrow you give him lift love respect them these guys goes through a lot to keep everybody safe to protect the country regardless of which country you are watching from and where you are from there is a military in your country and it is not a joke they bear so much burden on behalf of the nation for me personally i have not had an encounter with a soldier like say okay i was in a situation and a soldier had to be maybe to save me or deal with me no i have never been and i think i'm, I'm okay like that okay let it just be the ones they are doing for me that i'm not physically seeing that i'm not seeing on a daily basis but the ones they are doing for us that we are not there to see i like that one thank you guys okay all right so i hope that you enjoyed this video and you will tune in for another another time i'm currently working on the navy and i cannot wait to put it out here i hope you enjoyed this one i will see you guys later